everyone welcome to my channel my name is Teresa and today I'm going to do a select a shade collab and for this month we're doing like a St. Patrick's Day it's expired look we all chose colors you know that remind us of St. Patrick's Day and we have to come up with a look but if you're new to like watching these collabs I do it every month we each pick a shade and we have to come up with the look and you can use like one of the shades on your lips or your cheeks um, but it has to be a shadow. But anyways, I'm going to get into this and I'm going to do the swatches on my arm and show you the colors real quick. Okay, so here are the colors we all chose. I kind of like this color story. It's like dark and smoky. So the first color here is a black and this was chosen by Teacher Loves Beauty Kim. And she chose a black because I guess, well, I heard some people or some people wrote in the Instagram group group. It reminds me of a leprechaun's belt. But I'm using this. This is a Natasha Denona single in black. Desi chose a gold and Andrea chose a fern green and Colleen chose a St. Patrick's Day blue. And all these shades I'm using from the new Profusion Desert Sage palette that I recently got at Walmart. So I figured I would use some shades out of here. Jennifer Amethyst Winters chose a shamrock green and Desi or myself chose an orange and I got those two colors from my Morphe Lisa Frank palette right here. So I am going to get into this look. My cat she knows when I film it's like she's she's in one of those moods where she wants to be cuddled and affectionate and I appreciate that but Right now I'm filming. So I wish you would just lay down and relax. <laughs> okay, so first I'm gonna go into my shade using this palette right here. I got this last, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before for my set friend Sarah. And I decided to use this shade right here, Balloon Buddies. It's more of a peachy orange, but I figured I would put that into my crease. But anyways, how is everybody doing? I am doing well. Um, we're actually planning a trip to Florida in the end of March, and I'm so excited. We're going to drive there. It's an 18-hour drive, which is insane, but my boyfriend refuses to fly, and he's going to drive. I mean, most of the way, and maybe I'll drive a little bit because we're using his truck, and I think I've told you guys before, it's a huge truck, and it scares me. But if he gets tired or whatever, I'll drive a little bit. Because as long as I'm on the throughway and it's like a straight drive and I don't have to park. But yeah, I'm so excited. We're not doing Disney. We're doing like the old Florida um, roadside stuff like Leaky Wachee, Homosessa Springs, Terrapin Springs. We want to go to Clearwater. Um, places like that, which I have went to when I was a child. But I went to those places when I was a child, but it's been years. And I don't know, I've always talked with them about going to those places. And I don't know, I, I, they've never been, so I'm just so excited. But now I'm going to go into Jennifer's shade, the Shamrock Green, which I'm going to use the same palette, and it is Saturn Sunday. I, I chose that color right there. I thought that, I don't know was pretty and I'm gonna pat that in my outer V but yeah I'm like I said I'm so excited to do that do you guys have any trips planned normally I don't really travel I mean we me and my mom and my daughter will usually go someplace not too far away for like a weekend or something but I'm super excited to do this and it's just hard when you have pets um I have like three cats, a tortoise, and a fish, and it just makes it difficult. But my mom is going to stay here um, at my house to take care of them. And it makes it tricky because one of my cats, he was a stray. And um, we let him stay in the basement. We keep him separate from our other cats, unfortunately, because he does have feline herpes. And yeah, that's something that's never going to go away. Um, but... We keep them 
I don't know and he still goes outside so it's tricky because he's like fur feral, feral but he kind of domesticated so it's just a strange situation so at least when she's here she could let him in let him out so I don't know and trust me I'm totally against like letting cats outside but his situation's different now I'm gonna use this palette this is the profusion desert sage it's a pretty palette but it's kind of awkward like the shades they're kind of small to get your brush into it. And some of the shades have really good quality and some of them not so much. I, I think it's a pretty palette and it's affordable, but I don't know. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. And for Andrew, shade is a fern green. I chose to use this one. This one was a little more brighter green. I wanted something more mossier. So that's why I'm using that one. And I'm just gonna like blend over what I did and put this color in my crease. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. I don't know. It might be a disaster because the green I use looks more blue to me than a shamrock green. I don't know. But I love these like um muted greens, the mossy greens. I think they're so pretty. And now for the or St. Patrick's Day blue Colleen chose. I googled it and it looked more like a royal blue and I guess originally green isn't the color for St. Patrick's Day. It's blue which I did not know that and I find that interesting. So I'm kind of happy she chose the blue. I'm gonna put line my lower lash line with this. I've always loved using blue like on the lower lash line and I haven't done it in a long time. And then I want to go in with my orange and just buff that blue out a little bit. And now for Desi Shade, which is a gold, and there's a yellow gold right here in the palette. It is like small. And some of these shades just seem really flaky. So I don't know. I'm going to put this on the lid. Bring it over, just using my finger. Like it looks... I don't know. It's fine. This palette's fine. It's just not the best. And then I just want to blend over all that. And now for Kyle, or Kim shade, she chose a black and I'm just going to use this Natasha Denona single to use as a liner. I remember I got this in a boxy charm a long time ago and I actually really like it. I think that this is perfect for liner because it's like a creamy black and I just like it and using shadow for liner is easy I feel like it's easier than using like a liquid liner and you could smoke it out if you want to and it just looks softer than a harsh line but it still does the job of like defining your lashes so I used all the shadows and I'm very pleased with how it turned out. I actually think it's it's fun. It looks kind of wearable at the same time, not too crazy. So yeah, I'm happy. So real quick, I am going to use some liner though because I just want to go really tight along my lashes. I have to clean up my lips. But I do want to go really tight along my lashes real quick and then I'm going to use mascara. I'm going to use my Stila mascara and then we're going to finish off this look with the lips. And I don't think I mentioned but I used my Wet n Wild um, Breakup Proof Liquid Liner which is awesome. I highly recommend it and it's affordable but I have been trying to get better about linking the products or not linking but putting down the products that I'm using my videos in the description box. Just just in case you didn't catch what I said or I didn't mention it, you can look down below in case you're interested. But for lips, I am going to use my Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Beige Babe. I used this last video too. I just like the color. It's a nice nude and I thought a nude would go good with the look. But this lipstick can be a little drying and kind of wash me out a little bit. So I am going to go on top with it when... Man, Tarte Man Eater Gloss. This is a plumping gloss in the shade Buff. Just to add some moisture and color. Um, my last video I used the same product and Julia 
um, she commented that this cloth burns her. I don't get that reaction, but just keep in mind, this could give, you know, this reaction to people. I think it's good to know that product, what other products, how it reacts to other people, because we're all different. It definitely gives me a tingling feeling, but I wouldn't say it burns me. But yeah, I just think it like adds some color, adds some shine and moisture to that lipstick. But yeah, this is my completed look. I am very pleased. I'm not going to wash this off. I'm going to wear it throughout the day. Because <laughs> sometimes if looks get too crazy, I get a little self-conscious going out like that. But this, I think, is very wearable. But yes, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Please check out all the ladies I will put a hashtag, as I always do in this club, hashtag select a shade. You could just click on the hashtag and it'll bring you to all the videos we've ever done and you could check us all out there. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll definitely see you soon. Um, there's a video I kind of want to work on. It's about this reading app um, that I enjoy reading, Dream. I did a video a long time ago on it and I thought I could do like my five top authors on that app um I know not everybody's gonna be into that who watches my channel but I don't know I thought it would be a good idea maybe I'll do that next now that I have my makeup on finally do that video but anyways <laughs> I'll see you guys later all right bye